This is the Courtney Campbell Causeway that was built as a private causeway initially by uh, a man named Courtney Campbell, of all things. The Brooker Creek Preserve. I have a beautiful picture over there of the Brooker Creek Preserve, and I'm proud to say that I was on the initial board of development of the Brooker Creek Preserve, and we live just about on the preserve. Pinellas County is the most heavily populated county in Florida. We have more people per square mile than any other county. You have to remember, <laughs> Dade County goes way out into the Everglades and the Jacksonville. You drive forever in Duval County before you get to Jacksonville. All right, moving on. We are now ready to talk about the present. This is Joe Corsia, our present boating association commander. Here is a poor picture of Matt Heapy. He is the training officer of the uh, boating association, and he is very, very active, along with this gal, Connie Duskus. Okay, here we are, an aerial view. This is Lake Point Road. This is the, the uh, swimming pool, and this is the lodge. This is one of our boats on our pier, and this is a land uh, ramp for launching boats out of the boat RV pavilion and the RV lot over here. Okay, this is the energy uh, electrical employees recreation park. This has been here since day one. I camped in this park with the Boy Scouts in about 1964. Let's uh, look at some of the topography of the top of the lake. This is the sponge docks in Tarpon Springs. This is one of the bayous in Tarpon Springs. This is where the Epiphany Cross is thrown in the Orthodox Church. This is the Anklote River. This is all salt water. Recently, you remember we had a rainfall here and there was a lot of flooding of the Anklote River. Well, these homes here really got it. They have been put in recently. These are some very nice estates along Perrine Ranch Road. This is uh, some other very nice homes here, but uh, unfortunately uh, they weren't expecting the Anklet River to raise up as much as it, it did. This is Salt Lake. It's part of the Anklote. This is all the Anklote River. This is all salt water. This is a bridge. If any kayakers have kayaked this area, and I know our kayakers here have done that, they have gone, had to go under this bridge. Going down here, I said this is Salt Lake. This is Tarpon Turtle Restaurant at this point. You get into Tarpon Turtle Restaurant on Lake Road, right here. Right after the curve, this is uh, Tarpon Avenue, but when it makes this turn, it becomes Keystone Road. And this is Keystone Road out here. Might just mention, the, I mentioned the Tarpon Turtle, well, I'll come back to that sometime. Okay, here is Irwin Park. This is a Tarpon Springs City Park. And my wife here, wherever she is, uh, taught our children to swim in, in this area right here. And our children swam and water skied and everything else on Lake Tarpon. And you're going to talk about, think about uh, problems with alligators. I've never heard of an unprovoked alligator attack on Tarpon, Lake Tarpon. Here is the contractor's house. You see, this is, I, this is for the boat captains as well as for other people who are interested. But look, this is the peninsula that was built up by the contractor when Keystone Road was put in here. The, the land contractor decided he wanted a place on 
Lake Tarpon. And right along here are some nice bluffs. So he built this house, this, and built a beautiful, beautiful home out here. Well, everything was fine. I guess he moved into that home. But then he went to the uh, tax assessor and applied for homestead exemption. Well, they looked at the aerial maps. They said, there's no land in there. You can't possibly have a home. Well, his house of cards tumbled, and uh, he ended up in jail, not only for this problem, but he also was defrauding the state on some highway construction jobs. 